Hello everybody, this is Hardcore Harry, and welcome to my review of the SmackDown Superstar Shakeup. So, if you guys watched my Raw Superstar Shakeup episode, you'll know that I promised you this episode, so here it is. Uh, we're going to start off with something I actually forgot about, Saxton for Otunga. Uh, that's about how important it is. That's why I forgot about it, because it really doesn't make that big of an impact. Don't even know why they did it, but whatever. Uh, good pickup for SmackDown. Saxton's great. Um, Otunga's not as bad as people say he is. I don't know why people hate on him. Uh, I'm also a Nexus mark, though, so I love Otunga. But either way, not bad for them either. But uh, I think SmackDown does win in this one, because Saxton continues to improve, and he is really good. We have a little more shakeup in the women's department with Tamina coming over. Tamina's really good. She's probably one of the most underrated performers, and I don't understand why the frick they don't do more with her. She has a lot of heritage, a lot of training. I don't know why they don't use her. It makes no sense to me, but uh, unfortunately, I think that's going to continue. I don't think SmackDown's going to do much with her. It is the land of opportunity, but I really honestly think the only reason they brought her over was so they could throw us off of uh, Charlotte coming over. The Shining Stars. This is a group of guys that I, once again, I don't understand why they don't get a bigger push. They are very talented. They're great on the mic. Even when they get a, a crappy gimmick, they still usually, you know, turn around and make it decent. Um, they're good in the ring. I love this current gimmick. It doesn't seem like it's getting over a whole lot. I don't know why. I think it's awesome. Um, but maybe, you know, on SmackDown, it's, maybe they'll get something. I just, I don't think so. It's already a very strong tag division, and it's improving even more with, uh, you know, the New Day coming over. But maybe they'll do something with them. I just, I doubt it. I think they're destined to job. Um, and I did read something about Vince being done with their current gimmick, which sucks, because I think it is really good. But this probably is going to be the end for them. We also got my man, Jinder Mahal. Again, I don't know why people don't like Jinder. He's freaking awesome. He was awesome his first time around. He's awesome again. Uh, he's freaking jacked, man. Since coming back, he is jacked. He's bigger than most of the roster. Uh, he looks great. He's still got it in the ring. Still knows how to talk. I don't know why they don't do more with him. I hope on SmackDown maybe they will. It's a possibility. SmackDown, it's a lot more likely. I once again doubt it. I just don't think they want to do anything with him, which sucks. But whatever. Maybe down the line they'll do something. Next up, we have Sinkara. Yeah, don't know really why they made this move. Uh, probably the worst possible career choice for him. They took him from a show with all the cruiserweights and said, Oh, you're a cruiserweight. Let's, let's send you the show that doesn't have the cruiserweights. It doesn't make any sense. Keep him you know, on Raw. Keep him with the 205 Live guys. SmackDown, I don't think he's going to do much. He's probably going to basically be the job, which I... Hey, maybe they'll do something with him. I really don't want them to. Uh, I don't think he meshes well with non-cruiserweight guys. He's not good in the ring with non-cruiserweights. So hopefully, you know, they keep him in some fast-paced matches, make him a big, few big spots. Maybe they even say, you know what, let's send him back to Raw with the cruiserweights where he belongs because he is, in fact, a cruiserweight. We also got the pairing of Rusev and Lana. Um, I like it, especially since they haven't been doing anything with him on Raw. I was really hoping they'd go with the Rusev Angle storyline. Like, was kind of rumored a little bit. Uh, I think that'd be an awesome match, but whatever. I think he'll do good on SmackDown. I really hope so, anyway, because they just completely stopped using him on Raw. Uh, he's really good. Really underrated. Um, personally, I think he's going to be able to do some big things on SmackDown. I hope they actually do something with him. I, I could see it just as easily going the other way, but honestly, they'll most likely do something with him on SmackDown. Lana might even get an opportunity, too. Um, she's coming over to a very, very strong women's division, especially with Charlotte coming over. Uh, she improves, and she continuously improves in the ring, so I look for her to keep getting better, and, and hopefully they do something with her, not just as a valet, but as a, as a, a woman's competitor, too. We also got El Gener I mean, Sami Zayn. Uh, I'm not a huge Sami Zayn fan. He's really good, though. He's really, really good, and this is a great move. Uh, just... Looking at him, I, I don't know why he didn't go to SmackDown in the first place. But that's the show where I think he belongs. He's going over there with guys like AJ Styles and now Kevin Owens, uh, guys of that caliber. And I, I think SmackDown is really where he belongs. SmackDown kind of reminds more of like the adult version of NXT. Uh, 
still it, it, it feels you know more like a WWE show, but it has a lot of the better storylines like NXT does and a lot of those type of wrestlers. So I think Sami Zayn fits in here very well, especially with Kevin Owens coming over. Who do we have next? Who? 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 The New Day. I love the New Day. I don't know. I heel face whatever. I I I love the New Day for a while. They're freaking awesome. Uh, this is a huge move for SmackDown. Uh, this is definitely a big acquisition. Strengthens their tag team division and strengthens their entertainment factor a lot. Another group, I think they do fit in on Raw, but I think they fit in SmackDown a little better. Um, they're definitely going to strengthen the tag team division a lot. Next up, we have the Queen, Charlotte Flair. Really shaking up the women's division here. I don't know why they didn't talk about it more. Um, Alexa Bliss and Charlotte, women's competitors, and I mentioned a little bit in the Raw shakeup video, Four or five years ago, they would not have done this. Even even like in the in the era of Trish and Lita, they would not have done this. They would have not have focused on the women as much as they do. Um, I wish they'd have put a little more focus on this. But Alexa and Charlotte definitely a, a big a big big trade for the two brands. Um, SmackDown definitely needs Charlotte with the loss of Alexa. She's going to shake up the women's division here a lot, and uh, you know, her and Becky Lynch can have some great feuds. I look forward to that. Uh, Definitely a lot of things they could do now with her on the brand. And finally, we have the United States champion, Kevin Owens. Uh, now this is, obviously, uh, the stipulation is whoever wins a payback between KO and Jericho uh, gets to come to SmackDown and stay on SmackDown. Supposedly, from something I was reading, none of the Fozzie tour dates actually coincide with any WWE shows. I still think Jericho's going away to tour, so... I don't look for him to win the title back, uh, especially with Sami Zayn on SmackDown. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Owens and Zayn. Uh, they'll probably have a feud for the U.S. title. Who knows? But Kevin Owens, this is another show. I mean, he did great on Raw, don't get me wrong. Uh, he can fit in on, on any show. But SmackDown, he's there with guys like AJ and Sami, uh, you know, guys like that. And he, he fits in really good there. I look for him to do big things. I hope he ends up getting the WWE Championship. I don't see it happening for a little bit, but that would be awesome to see. The superstar that got the worst uh, out of the trade, definitely Sin Cara. Go, him going to SmackDown makes no sense. He got taken away from the cruiserweights, and he is a cruiserweight, so it, it doesn't make any sense. I think they're going to end up doing the least with him. The superstar that made out the best definitely would be Charlotte Flair. Um, not that she was getting old on Raw by any means, but she kind of did everything she needed to do, beat everybody, proved what she needed to there. She has to come over to SmackDown now, face a whole fresh set of opponents, and... Uh, Prove that she's the queen here again, too. Like I said, not getting boring by any means, but definitely a refresher. Gets her career back on track, and she keeps going, and it proved that she's the best on this show, too. Uh, worst move for the brand? I'd say Sin Cara. Um, there's no cruiserweights. What's the point? Doesn't make any sense. He belongs with the cruiserweights. Or, you know, if they still had Kalisto, they could at least put them back together, but... They really don't have much they can do with him. Um, he's not going to go into a title scene, and he's not even really going to be able to be used as enhancement talent against a, a lot of their superstars. So there's really no point for it. Doesn't make any sense. Definitely the the worst move for them. The best move for the brand? Uh, toss up between Kevin Owens and Charlotte, but I'm going to lean towards Kevin Owens. Uh, he was doing great on Raw. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but... On SmackDown, he's going to come and dominate the show. Uh, he could easily have done it on Raw too, but obviously they weren't going to push him a lot of you know against like guys like Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar. There's really no big force in in SmackDown that's going to be able to to stop Kevin Owens. So he can easily easily come in and dominate the show. I he he probably won't to be honest, but I hope they at least put him in you know a nice feud or, or a good storyline, give him a big push. But like I said. I personally, what I would do if I was running SmackDown, I'd push him. I'd push him. I'd make him an unstoppable force. Obviously, somebody would beat him eventually, but he can easily come in and dominate this brand. All right, my opinion for who won the draft, the shakeup. Overall, who's the big winner? I got to go with SmackDown. Raw got some big names. Got my favorite, Dean. As much as I hate to say it, I don't think they're going to do a whole lot with Dean there. And Bray, what what can they really do with him? Uh, I mean, maybe they'll feud him with Braun Strowman. Or, hey, maybe they'll put them back together again. But uh, 
you know, a feud with, with a big guy like Brock, Roman, Braun. But I don't want to see that. I don't. I don't want to see that at all. Especially not against Brock. I don't want them them trying to be like, oh yeah, Bray Wyatt's it's a force to be reckoned with. Well, it's Brock freaking Lesnar. So not believable for me. Sorry. SmackDown, however, got three huge acquisitions. That Kevin Owens. He can easily, easily be the new face of their brand. He can, like I said, he can dominate the whole brand. That's somebody. You know, that's a, that's a franchise player right there. That's somebody you can push to the moon. Charlotte Flair. Yes, they lost Alexa, and that sucks, but Charlotte is one of the best. She is the queen for a reason. Um, that's somebody that you can build your women's division around and somebody you can push to. That that can be the face of your women's division easily. Three, they got the New Day. Um, right there is a group of guys that if you wanted to, you could break them up, have three good singles competitors. I personally don't think they should. That's a, that's a group like the Freebirds right there that can stay together forever and there's no problem with that whatsoever it doesn't get old um they're a group that you can build your tag team division around they can be your big tag team guys um and you, you can build it around them so right there they got three franchise players that, you, that they can build their divisions around whereas you know rod did not get that i hope you guys enjoyed my review of the superstar shakeup if you did go ahead and drop a like down below i keep doing this thing with my hand where it's up too high just drop a like down below if you liked it uh, drop a dislike if you didn't, whatever. Tell me what I could do better. I can't get better if I don't know what to do. Um, so, hope you tune in to my next episodes. I'll probably be doing some Let's Plays coming up here soon. I'm going to get into some horror games and you guys can see what a scared little girl I am. So, as always, don't just have a great day. Have a hardcore day.